So let's make one more flower petal. Is that blocking you at all? Yeah. All right, great. When I'm mashing, I'm just mashing the hot part, not the rod itself, because that will, if you mash the rod, that'll keep you from really flattening too much, so just be wary of that part. Then I'll heat both sides. Stick the rod on. Pull it out. It's important to pull it outside of the flame, because you get a lot more control over the shape that way. Petal. Okay, so I have my uh, I have my petals, and I'm kind of just arranging them in a sort of a circle shape on my graphite, so I can see how much room they'll take up. All right, now let's make our base for the flower. For the base, I'm going to use five millimeter rods, so it's slightly thicker than the four mil. So I'm building it up into a sphere. Now the flame, hold it straight. Let it round into a ball. I'm gonna make it a tiny bit bigger because I'm looking at my petal sizes and they look a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna hold it up in the flame. And I actually kind of want it to be a little bit squat, a little bit of a mushroom shape, so holding it up like that is helping me get the shape I want. All right, so now it's ready to go. Before I add my petals on, I'm gonna give it a little texture. Um, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of divots, and there's no one particular tool for that, but there's a lot of tools you can use. Um, so I'm gonna use my tweezer tips because they're pointy. But if you don't have pointy-ish tweezers, you can also use like your shears, the ends of those, or maybe like your knife or something, anything that can have like a small point. So I'm gonna turn my flame down and I'm just gonna spot heat a few sections and just give it some divots. And when you're adding texture like this, if you heat the spot that already has texture, you can easily erase what you've done. So I'm just being really um, selective with my heating and some of it will get erased and then some of it will just add back in. All right, so adding texture like this is just a really great way to um, make something look a lot more interesting and more realistic rather than straight out of the box glass that's just perfectly smooth. Um, so a little bit of texture can do a whole lot. So now let's start to add on our petals. Again, I have a really small sharp flame. I want it small and hot. So we're gonna do um, hot seals for these. So I'm going to heat one section of the base and I'm going to heat the flower petal at the same time in the flame. And I'm letting it thicken a tiny bit because um, these petals are kind of thin. So I'm just going to build up a little bit of uh, like thickness at the bottom there. And then stick it on inside the flame and then look for a hot seal. And I'm going to uh, heat it from both sides to make sure it's hot. And when I stick it on, I pull it ever so slightly, and that actually helps smooth it out and make it um, a nicer looking connection. So we'll do it again. Spot heating, getting it glowing hot, and sticking it on in the flame, pulling very slightly. All right, so now I have two petals on. Um, so if I want to spot heat the petal I just put on, um, 
I could very easily heat the other pedal that I already have on, right? And what would happen then? Yeah, it would flip around, flop around, be really annoying. Um, so to prevent that, we're gonna do something called bridging. And I'm just gonna get a thin rod here and fuse it onto the other pedal and bridging will create an armature. It's temporary and it's gonna be extremely helpful for assembling pieces that have a lot of parts coming out of it. Um, and it really, it can really help you not have pieces moving when you don't want them to. So now that I have the bridge on, I can really heat it from the front and make sure I have a hot seal there. So if you don't get it a hot seal right away, it's okay. You can go back and heat it some more. And that's what um, doing this bridging is gonna let me do is heat it from the front because you want it to be a nice, smooth, hot seal on both the front and the back. Sometimes it can be like a hot seal on one place and not on the, on the other. Kind of, um, adjusting a little bit to allow myself room for the one last pedal I'm going to put on. But the good thing is once you have the pedals on, even if, even after you take your bridges off and they're hot seals, you can adjust them in any sort of way. And once they're hot seals, you don't have to worry. Like you can, if you want to move them up or down, it's not a problem. Put the last one on. So it's touching um, the pedals next to it a little bit, which is fine. It's not a problem for me, but the thing that you do wanna make sure if that happens is that everywhere it's touching is a hot seal. Cause if you have cold seals bumping up against one another, they're gonna crack later on. All right, so I got my last pedal on. Now I'll just put that last bridge on there. And now I can really make sure that we've got hot seals in all directions. And when you're doing this, I'll check for you before you take your bridges off to make sure your seals are all nice and hot. Because if they're not hot seals, if we were to hit it, all the petals will come off because they're like punties. If we wanted to preserve the texture in the center, um, should we do that from the back instead? Uh, oh, heating it? Yeah. You're gonna need to heat from the back and the front. So like right now, I still have some of the texture, some of it's melting off, but I can just add a little bit more on. Um, in like specifically like around the edges where close to where the seals are so and this is I would do this now before I take the bridges off but yeah having hot seals are, are definitely uh, more important than anything else in the process all right so now it's all hot so let's start to take the bridges off take the bridges off um, what I like to do is sort of keep the middle and then come off. Just again, like I'm still working with a nice, small, sharp flame. So I can have absolute precision. And some of the flower petals are slightly different lengths and that's fine, like, I'm going to edit them once I get the seals off. So, um, so this one here is a little long. So first of all, what I want to do is, um, let's give it, you know, adjust it a little bit. And if you leave the petals straight, you know, they look very sort of mechanical. So I'm actually going to give it a little bit of movement, add some gravity to it. And then I want to make it shorter, so I'm going to heat it gently, not one area, just like a, a sort of general area, and pull it 
out of the flame. And so you see all this glass that I was able to pull off. Um, and then you can really get a nice shape that way if you want to change the shape and you can also change the size. So we want to make it look like the petals just hanging down from gravity. You can also just let gravity do its thing. So right now it's just a very, I turn my, my oxygen down, so it's a fluffier, gentler flame, because I'm not trying to really spot heat any one area, I'm trying to heat more general areas now, because I want to, I don't want to really do anything too extreme. So you can add um, two layers of petals or as many as you really feel like you can fit. Um, I didn't do that for the sake of the demonstration being shorter, but if you were to add more layers, um, you'd make your base a little bigger and then keep the bridges on for the first layer while you put the second layer on. So um, flower's pretty good, I'm happy with it. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is, um, the stem is really weird looking because it's straight out of the box, um, straight. So I'm going to bend it a little bit and I'm turning my oxygen down even more to give myself an even fluffier, gentler flame. And going back and forth kind of, not heating one spot on the rod because I want to heat gentle curves into it. Nothing too extreme, just a slight bit of movement and a slight bend in a few different directions would do it. Whenever you want to bend a rod and do like a larger bend, it's this motion back and forth. Um, it's sort of a sweeping motion. All right, and then I'm gonna like probably leave it, like cut it off around here. When the flower has cooled down, I can um, snip it off and then fire polish the bottom. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it now, obviously, because it's hot and also I have all these connections. So I'm gonna put it in the kiln and um, let it soak a little bit, make a happy glass. And there we have a flower. Any questions right off the bat? All right, cool. So now let's talk about um, networking. We'll do a little bit of that. 